go right through them. No normal person will just run right on top of schooling fish. So if you're watching, don't do what they do. All right, good morning, you guys. Welcome to the water. We are in Charleston today. Going to throw for some Spanish real quick. We got Mark on the boat. We got Big Kelly on the boat. You know we're going to catch fish with Kelly on the boat, you guys. And right now, we're just going to troll around for some Spanish. We're out here pretty early. It's about 6.15 in the morning. Then we're going to go out to the jetties. If you guys remember from last year's jetty video, it was awesome. We limited it out on flounder. So right now, what we're going to do, I got a little gotcha plug tied up on my Shimano set up here. Shimano Terramar inshore, and then the Shimano Stratic. 15-pound braid, 15-pound leader. Let's see what we can do, y'all. Got him. There we go. First fish of the day, right by the boat. Right by the boat. Baby Spanish. Little small one. Ooh. There we go. Quite big enough. Nope, not quite, but. He's one. That's one. It's our first one. All right, John made a switch over to this guy. I'm not sure what it's called. Some sort of jig. That's what Mark said he was catching him on last time, so I'm going to see if, we, if I believe him or not. All right, y'all, we out, heading to the jetties. Spanish everywhere out here. Oh, Jesus, we're all, I mean, they're all around us. Oh, he's there after it. Oh, got him. Got him? Yep. God, I had some after it. There's one, there's one. Oh, yeah. There we go, finally. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice Spanish too. Nice Spanish. That's a nice one. There's a nice Spanish. I don't have anything set up. They're just going crazy. Look at all of them. Alright, this guy's just gonna stay in the boat right now. Oh, I got one. You got one? You got one too? This is wild. Came off? Oh, I came off too. Oh, I got another one. Got one. Look at that! Oh, that was oh, one. they're going wild! They're going wild! Got them! Got them! How big they gotta be? <laughs> Toss him! He's spitting some stuff up. See you, Spanish. There we go. All right. And there's blood everywhere. We're gonna keep casting for them. Only thing about those pelagic fish, come on, get it. They bleed. I got two Spanish so far. Those things are insanely fun to catch. God, dude, they're everywhere. Got him, buddy. Got him. Got him. Got one. Got him. Oh. Too hard and he broke the line. All right, feed it back through the eyes and I'll retie you another. Oh, there, there he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's on. He's on. Ooh. I don't think he's that big. Nope. Oh, there he goes. Quick release. We're on a Spanish blitz right here, guys. They're going nuts. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at all those right here in front of the boat. I mean. Come on, I just threw right in him. Bumped it, oh, he bumped it again. Didn't get in. Come on, come back, come back, come back. Come back, God bless it. Ooh. There we go. There's a better one. That's a good one. Oh, I thought it was a good one. No. He just pulling good. All right, we'll try. Get some bigger ones. Yeah, they are. That's a nice one. Just came out of the water there. That's what we need to put in the cooler. Oh, there he is. That's a good one. That. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Catch Yep. Maybe. This is a good one. Oh yeah. Dang, bro, yeah. Doing? Come on. Come on. Nice. Nice fish, dude. Nice fish, dude. That's a nice Yeah it is. Really nice. Yeah it is. Come on. Look at that. Come on. Oh, I didn't got the net out. Come on. Ah, yeah. Flipped him in here. 
Woo! That's the Spanish right there, boys. But this is a nice Spanish here, you guys. Look at the teeth on those guys. We're doubled up. Flip him in here. We got him on there. We got some more to catch, guys, but that's a nice one. Ooh, hell, a nice one. There they are. Oh, there's a good one. There's another big one. Yep. Yep, another big one. I think. I say that every time. I, I do the same thing with like redfish. <laughs> every time a redfish is, I'm like, oh, that's a nice one. Uh, he ain't too bad. He ain't no drag puller by any means. He ain't no drag screamer. I see all the bait they're after right here in front of us. Literally right in them. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, I got him. You got him? Double again. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Y'all are just in a good spot for him. I'm at the front of the boat throwing to the back. Look at that one, dude. Do you? I got a big one. Oh, do you do got a nice one. Oh, he's running. Dang, sorry, look at that. Pull him up. Get him up. Oh yeah, that is a nice one. Oh God, he is right by the boat. <laughs> right by the boat, dude, no way. Look how big that one is, dude. Yeah, oh, there we go. There we go. Double up. Oh, we got a triple up, here we are. Kelly's got one. Mark's got the nice one. All right, mine's not too bad either, y'all. He ain't huge, but he ain't bad. Got him. Turn into a kingfish video. There we are. Look at that. Spanish guys everywhere. Everywhere around here. It's awesome. All right, let's get these guys back. Catch some more. But all we're throwing is this little jig. Once again, we're not sure the name of it. Mark has it. Um, you probably know the name of it seeing this right now. Drop the comment below. But this thing is what's catching these Spanish. How many Spanish y'all think we've caught? 25? 20-25? You just can't leave them alone when they're schooling, man. Like, I don't want to go catch any other fish right now. It don't get much more fun than this right here. There must be so much bait. Oh, there's one. That's a heavier one. Until he starts running in, then he don't feel heavy. Oh, got, one. got one. Doubled up. Spanish everywhere coming on the boat. So slimy. Oh, there's one. Back to back cast there. Another smaller one. I can see him coming through the water here. Oh. A quick release and right into the boat. <laughs> we are on the very tip of the South Jetty here in Charleston, catching some school in Spanish. Oh man, got a bite there. Got another bite. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. There we go. I got that one. I got about three bites on that one. <laughs> they're just coming in. I mean, they're everywhere. Come on, get off of there. Got him. Oh, me too. Me too. Me too. Oh, we got a double up. Come on, Kelly. Come on, Kelly. There's one aboard. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. We got it all. He ain't huge. That's the biggest one I've caught in a minute. They're just throwing up everywhere. Got him. Oh, oh. Too late. No, oh, yeah. He threw his back. We got one here. Woo! Got him. 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 We got a triple. Oh, quick release. Quick release, Kelly. That's all right. All right. Mark's got his. All right. Mine's going to go back. Woo. Boys. They are everywhere. Oh, good God almighty. That was a good hit. This is a better one. I know that I know for a fact. All right. Here we are. Yep. A little better one. Definitely a little better one. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, get up here. There's another one. Did he? Woo wee! He just took me for a ride. All right, while we're here, guys, I want to show you, if I can hold on to him, the teeth on those things. Those things are razor sharp, and I mean razor sharp. So they will cut your line, cut your fingers. Ain't fun. We got company now. And there's one way to go around or in front. Just go right through them. No normal person will just run right on top of schooling fish. While other people are casting at them, but. All right guys, so if you're watching, don't do what they do. So we have fish schooling out here and they go right in the middle of them. Right in the middle of everything we have going. So, yeah, I don't know. You would want to come around, but these guys just go right through the middle of them. All right, so I just want to address something real quick and just say to anybody who's going to say, why didn't you say anything? Well, it's because, you know, it wasn't my boat. We had a kid on board and Mark is a very good friend of mine. I want to be very respectful of him taking me out and having his kid on board. So I didn't want to say anything and get into any altercation with anybody way out there like that. Just wasn't going to be worth it. Didn't want to ruin everybody's time. So I didn't say anything. We just kind of kept fishing. It all kind of worked out anyway. But just want to know what you thought about that. So drop the comment below and let me know what you think. Do scare all the fish off. Oh! Hey, There we go. The there we go. Go ahead. There we go. All right. Got him. Got him. Doubled up, baby. Let's go. Kelly. Oh. Oh. My fish is way down here. Kelly's got him in the boat. Oh. We got this one here. And then we got Kelly's down here in the boat. Whew. Oh, he quick release, quick release. Look at the size of these two spanish, you guys. So I believe, yeah, actually this is the first time that we have ever done spanish on the channel. It's gonna be awesome. I don't know how we're gonna make them yet, but I gotta clean them up while they're still fresh. I know people like them when they're still fresh. A lot of people say don't freeze them. I don't know, so I'm not gonna freeze them. Probably make some like mackerel dip out of some and then maybe like put some more on like the blackstone or like fry them or something, I don't know. We'll figure it out, but let's clean them up first and see what we can get. I have never made Spanish mackerel dip or anything like that. All in all, they're not too hard to clean. I already cleaned the other smaller ones off camera. But that peels off and that looks pretty good, guys. And a lot of these have some row in them. That might have been why they're feeding so hard. These Spanish were going insane. And like, we saw a tarpon out there under them, a bunch of big king macros jumping straight out of the water. Like, it was wild. Like, that was one of the funnest fishing days I've had in a long time. I mean, it kind of checks like a bucket list for me to just get on a bunch of schooling Spanish mackerel during summertime. So, made it all worth it to me. These things have a pretty good bloodline on them. So. I'm not cutting all the way down, but you see how I just avoid that bloodline on there. And that looks like a really good piece of meat right there. And you feel like little like pin bones or something in them. I'm not sure what the exact name is for it, but I just learned that you can just basically grab that and you can just peel that. Yeah, see how that just peeled right out of there like that. Now that's two good looking pieces of meat right there, y'all. All right, let me get my hands cleaned up. Let's go inside and for the first time on Fishful Thinking Fishing, we're gonna eat Spanish mackerel on the channel. I'm so excited. Let's go inside and let's do it. All right, and these three right here are the only ones we're cooking and eating tonight. The rest of these we are cooking, but we're gonna make those into fish dip. And so I got these three seasoned with this gospel seasoning here. It's an all-purpose rub meat church. And then these are seasoned with Tony Satry's, of course, I love Tony's. And so that's the Tony's and then this is the meat church stuff. Let's get cooking. Approximately half a cup of mayonnaise. Duke's only, you know that. We're actually gonna do one whole cup of mayonnaise. Two half scoops. Another half a cup or whole cup of some cream cheese spread here. Let's get that down in there all nice. 
we're actually just gonna go ahead and do a whole cup. And a little bit of lime juice. You can do lemon or lime juice. And then some Dijon mustard here, like maybe like a tablespoon. That'd be good. We're going to add our parsley. Freshly chopped just now by your boy here. I know it's fresh because I just bought it from the store about 10 minutes ago. We're gonna do a spoon of horseradish. I don't wanna put a whole lot in there. Worcestershire sauce, a little bit in there. That's good. A bit of Louisiana hot sauce. And last but not least, a little bit more Tony's. Let's go right on top of that. And that is what we are left with. It looks pretty good. Actually kind of smells like Mac sauce. And now what we're gonna do is go put the Spanish on the Blackstone. My smoker is messed up. The auger's jammed. I know I wanted to smoke them but that's just not gonna happen, but that's all right. So what we're gonna do is put the Spanish on the Blackstone, cook them like that, have those three fillets tonight, and then the other fillets are going right in this dip, letting it chill for a couple days, and then we're gonna eat it. I can't wait, so let's go outside, let's get the Blackstone fired up, and let's get the fish on there. Also, feel free to tell me what you would have done different to this or what could I have done different to either make the Spanish better or whatever. I'm just cooking them kind of how I figured I should cook them. But if there's a better way or you see something I'm doing wrong, hey, I am free and open to any kind of constructive criticism. So drop a comment below and let me know what you would have done so next time I can do that. It didn't take them very long to cook at all. I mean, that was probably like three minutes on one side and flipped them and got a little crunchiness, but that's okay. A little crunchy around the outside, never hurt anybody. Three of them are gonna be for tonight, like I said, and the rest of them I'm gonna chop up right here on the Blackstone, and then we're gonna use them for the fish dip. All right, we got our three beautiful pieces of Spanish right there, and then our chopped Spanish. That kinda looks like chopped chicken, doesn't it, guys? That, kinda, that looks so good, though. That's what's going in the dip. Uh, that's a lot, so we're gonna make a lot of dip but I can't wait to eat that right there. All right, so now we're gonna take this and put it in there. Say hey to the camera, Kenzie. She's Hi. cutting some bell peppers up here. So let's add our chopped spinach mackerel to what we got already made up here. All right, now we're just gonna mix all this in. I mean, this actually looks pretty good, we think. Looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Then we're gonna add as much mackerel in here as possible. So we'll probably try to finish it up. Mackerel but with a side of dip. That does, yeah. Spanish mackerel with a side of dip. But I mean, that looks pretty good, you guys. Really good, actually. You're supposed to let it sit for about 24 hours, but I think we're gonna let it sit for about 48. It says two hours up to three days to let it sit. So we're gonna do about 48 hours. So then we're gonna taste it in a couple of days, let it sit in the refrigerator, cool down, thicken up. I think it's gonna be so good. But for right now, we're gonna eat these little Spanish mackerel strips and see how they taste. And here we go, y'all. The first Spanish mackerel to be ate on Fishful Thinking Fishing. Cheers. That's really firm and really good. Baby, gotta try it. Now, that right there is insanely good eating. Like, insanely good eating. That is the first time We've had Spanish on the channel, and I love the way I did it. Again, like I said out there, if you would have done it different, let me know, but I love the way I did this, guys. It's so good. I gotta get another bite. Looks pretty good, don't it? Mm. Now, a little bit of like teriyaki sauce or something would have been really good on these. Like, I mean, it is so firm. It's a different kind of texture than a lot of like redfish or trout or anything. Very good, very good. Ooh. The boy loves the Spanish mackerel. Mackenzie has never had Spanish mackerel before. The flavor, on point. The texture is a little dry to me. Mm. Like. It might be because of the chef. No. I don't think it's a chef, but it's kind of like when you go to like KFC and you get 
dart meat. And wow, it's you're comparing oh, this stuff to KFC. Oh my god. But then you get a chicken breast and it's a little dry. That's all we get. Guys. Oh my gosh. Bro, did y'all hear this? She just compared my fish to KFC. I mean, okay, I didn't know it was here. that bad. It you're was pretty good. I like it. I like anything. I, think, I, it's like, really I think it's great. It's gonna be perfect for dip. Okay, it's I gonna be perfect for dip. Like All right. Some. Speaking of the dip, we'll see you guys in 48 hours to finish this video up and to try the dip. I gotta get her to try it. So we'll finish it up. Next clip though is gonna be in two days. We're gonna eat this Spanish mackerel dip right now. So it is a few days later, and by a few days, I mean a little over a week later. And some bad news is we didn't get to try the dip. And let me explain why. We were actually leaving, going out of town and going to the lake down in Georgia, Clark's Hill Lake, if you know where that is. We were going down there for a little vacation for Father's Day weekend. Well, I was gonna take the dip with me. So when we went down there, Jace, my son, had a little accident. So we ended up being in the hospital for a couple nights and everything is fine now. Everything is good. He is back to normal. He was just dealing with a little bit of seizure problems but we got it figured out, we got it good, so he is good to go. Moral to the story of that, guys, is hold your loved ones tight, you just never know. But with all that being said, the dip went bad, so we didn't get to taste it. I was really looking forward to tasting it, but with all that going on, it's just kind of one of those things that happened. So all that means is I'm gonna have to get back out there and catch some more Spanish mackerel and make some more dip. I bet it was gonna be so good, it looked so good, but you know, things happen. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you really like this video and really like the channel, please do me a favor, Think about hitting that subscribe button. Share to all your social media platforms. Help me grow Fishful Thinking Fishing. Just got monetized, you guys, right here on YouTube. All thanks to you guys. I love you guys so much. So thank you guys for everything that you do. We'll catch you next time right here on Fishful Thinking Fishing. And until next time, guys, peace.